and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to look at how you can control what's called a link movement. Now, first I want to talk about what a link movement is. A link movement is any movement from tool change into the cut, from one operation to the next operation while still using the same tool, or from the operation back to tool change. These are all link movements. And in Top Solid, you have the full editability of these motions. Now, in this sample, we're going to take a look at something rather simple. This is just a simple three-axis machine. And most people don't think of editing link movements when it comes to three-axis machining. Well, on my simple little pocket here, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm using a constant engagement type of cut. And what I'm worried about is chip evacuation. So as I go through each of these cuts, I want to bring the tool up to my tool change position, move to my uh, in Z, and then move to my tool change position in Y, call an M0 so the operator can open the door, blow out the pocket, remove all the chips, close the door, start the cycle again. Okay, so let's have a look at how that looks. Now, first, if I just run the simulation of these operations, you can see tool comes down from tool change, it does its thing, and in between operations, it's just going to pick up position and continue machining. And that's not at all giving us what we need. We want to be able to control this a little bit better and to be able to, again, put that tool in a safe place, call that M0. So here's how it works. I'm going to go to my second operation. This is where I want to make the modification. And I'm going to right-click on it, go down to Link Movements, and choose Edit Inner Operation. Again, that inner operation is that movement between operations with the same tool. In automatic mode, here's what it's doing. It's starting at that position, which is the final retract height of the previous operation. Okay, then it's moving over in XY, then it's plunging back in Z, and we're back into our cut. So I'm going to turn off automatic mode, and I'm going to play with this a little bit. I'm going to zoom out so you can see what happens in real time. Everything above this red arrow in an inner operation is movement applied to the previous tool path. With regards to exiting of that tool. So what I'm going to start with is simply going up to my start position. So right now, the tool is retracted out of the pocket, and I'm going to insert a movement to coordinates. And it's really simple. I'm going to insert it in Z. I want to set it to go to my change tool position. I'll put it in Z. Checking this is what outputs it. And I'm calculating this off the main origin as well. Okay. Now, if I zoom out a little bit and I click back, so the tool retracted out of the pocket, now it's pulling up in Z. Now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to say add movement to coordinates. And in this case, I'm going to go to my Y position. And depending on your Y position's tool change point, that may shove your table forward, may shove your table back. So again, you want to do this based on the way your machine works. Okay. Lastly, what I'm going to do is come here and insert my M code. And this is going to be my M01 optional stop, right? From there, let's green check mark and let's test it out. So I'm gonna select these first two. I'm gonna hit my simulation. This is gonna come down. It's gonna do its thing. When it's done, notice it's picking up the tool. It's going to shift the table in Y, okay? We don't actually simulate the M01, but you get the idea. Now, let's say that this link movement is exactly what we want to use for these other ones. How can we apply the same link movement there? Well, let's go back and edit the link movement. And I can come up here and save it. And I'm going to save it. And here you're going to see, if I open this up, it's saving it to that Haas VF4 definition. And I'm going to call it um, clean chips because clean chips to me means it's going to pick up the tool, do what it needs to do. Okay? Now watch. I can go here, control select this one, right click, go to link movements, and I can load an inner operation for both of them called clean chips. Now that I've applied that, it needs to do a light rebuild, so I'll choose that. And now all of these have that motion. Let's take a look at what that looks like in G-Code. So we'll go to Generate ISO Code. Here I'm just going to use a Haas UMC 750 base. It's just a standard Phoenix style post-processor. Go ahead and click Yes. So we're doing our cut. Come on down. Again, here's that initial retract out of the pocket. Here's that G28 
G91, Z0. Now we're moving to Y0, it's fine. There's that M1, and then once that's done, it recalls the spindle, recalls your height offset, and we're back off and cutting. And it's gonna do this at the end of every single pocket, which is kind of cool. Hopefully you found this little tutorial about link movement editing interesting. Check back soon for more.